I, 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 we have discussed the different factor which is affecting the uh, individual in the recovery part. Uh, 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 it, again, it's also depend on how we are stimulating the brain. So the normal physiotherapy is the one of the part also, like when you are doing the limb exercises, even you don't have the power to move, like the patient can't move actively their limbs, but if you are doing the passively that limb, actually you are doing the two things. One thing, one, you are preventing the uh, uh, complications uh, of uh, a particular during that time, number one. Number two, you are preventing uh, the joint which can fuse if you are not moving those joints, number two. Third thing, when you are doing uh, physiotherapy and moving that uh, paralytic limb, actually you are stimulating the different brain area. So we are uh, indirectly uh, stimulating the brain areas uh, for neuroplasticity. What is actually neuroplasticity is like uh, brain have their cells that is called neurons and they have the connection between each others okay by the different uh, branching and our cognition our function and everything depend on how many uh, connection between the neurons are there in a particular brain okay after our birth okay we 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 uh, uh, the usually uh, young uh, Young individual uh, uh, with a birth, they they have the particular number of the neurons. Okay, the number of the neuron is not going to go increase with the age. It is going to decrease. Okay, the only thing which can increase is the connection between the different neurons. So by doing the physiotherapy, we are increasing the connection between the different neuron. That is called neuroplasticity. Okay, so if we are uh, in the routine way, when we are doing the physiotherapy regularly, we are stimulating the brain uh, in indirect way. Okay, in a uh, brain stimulations, what we do, we directly stimulate brain area which is damaged or that area which is uh, actually suppressed uh, because of the stroke. We want to stimulate that area so it start functioning because of this uh, more connection between the different area of the brain. Okay, so uh, brain uh, uh, stimulation is done in the two way. That is the one is the non-invasive one, and second is the invasive one. That is called the deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation treatment is the surgery actually, which we are uh, doing for the Parkinson patient. The Parkinson patient usually have the tremor and a stiffness to, Im to uh, uh, improve from uh, those symptoms in the Parkinson patient. Uh, we do the deep brain, uh, deep brain stimulations, but uh, uh, it has been tried. It is experimental till now. Uh, in the stroke recovery treatment, okay, the few surgery has been done. Uh, there is not pro a promising result uh, till now for the stroke patients. So in this, they, what they uh, do, they stimulate uh, the small brain, that is called cerebellum, uh, for the functional recovery of uh, the large brain damage. Okay, uh, that is called the deep brain stimulation. And the second is which can be done uh, uh, in a physiotherapy center also, that is the stimulation, that is a non-invasive one. Okay, uh, it is done by uh, just the passing a current, okay, in a magnet uh, and forming the magnetic field. Uh, that is called uh, brain stimulation by magnetic field, okay. And uh, the second way, one is the uh, transcranial uh, direct current stimulation. So there is a two method by we stimulate the damaged area or affected or depressed area which is even not affected because of the stroke, but it is suppressed because it's directly connected with the, uh, the brain, which is damaged as, al already. And I totally depend on that, uh, that function on the damaged area. So we can stimulate that area and uh, 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 we can, uh, that area after uh, repeated stimulation may start functioning as a primary area. 
so that is the way uh, that the deep brain stimulation is used uh, for the uh, rehabilitation part